Well, thank you, Majority Leader, dear colleagues. I'd like to associate myself with the earlier speech of our colleague from Valenzuela, Senator Wynne Cachalian, but allow me also to deliver a few uh, words of my own. I stand to sponsor this resolution congratulating and commending yet another batch of honorees for the annual search for the country's most outstanding young men and women. In sponsoring this measure, we are reminded of two things. The first is something American industrialist William Durant wrote about the Aristotelian principle of how virtues are formed in man by doing the actions. We are what we repeatedly do, therefore excellence is not an act, but a habit. The second is what our national hero, Dr. Terizal, wrote in Noli Metangere, the example could encourage others who only fear to start. Simula po noong 1959, pinarangalan po natin ang mga individual na may kakaibang kontribusyon sa kanilang mga profesyon o mga larangan. Pinibigyan natin sila ng parangal dahil karapat dapat sila magbigyan ng parangal. Pinagawa rin natin ito dahil nais natin silang makilala sa ating bansa na sana sa kanilang emplo, maudyok ang kanilang mga kababayan na sumunod sa kanilang mga yabang. It has become a tradition, Mr. President, through the efforts of the JCI Philippines for the country to regularly search and recognize its most outstanding individuals. And that's because we believe exemplary and excellent acts deserve due praise and should not go unrecognized. We are what we repeatedly do, after all. We also do this because we want to inspire those among our countrymen, especially the youth, who wish to make a contribution but do not necessarily know where or how to begin. We wish to dispel that fear and we wish to inspire them. As mentioned by Senator Gachalian, many from this August chamber have been chosen as TOYM honors. I'd like to add also, uh, he himself was an honoree in 2011, former Senator Richard Gordon in 1982, uh, our colleague Senator Alan Peter Caetano was my batchmate in 2010, along with former Senator Bama Kino in 2010. Senator J.D. Herzito, Senator Chis Escudero, Senator Lauren Legarda are pro them, former Senator Ninoy Aquino, Former Senator Manny Pacquiao, former Senator and President Joseph Estrada, former Senator Juan Flavier, former Senator Gringo Manasan, also former Senators Lina, Maceda, Mercado, Janos Peña, Miriam Defensor Santiago, and former Senate President Manny Bilbo. This year, through JCI Philippines, the TOYM Foundation, and the Jerry Rojas Foundation, 10 individuals have been chosen and their stories deemed worthy of praise. At the risk of uh, repeating some of what Senator Wynne has mentioned, allow me to mention them individually. The first is Aristelo A. Asilo, TOYM Honoree for Social Entrepreneurship. He co-founded the food and beverage company Baraco Incorporated, which owns the registered trademark brand Tim Plata. Through his work, he helped pioneer the coffee program or the coffee-based farming and entrepreneurship engagement, which is built on the values of responsible entrepreneurship and dignified work, particularly for our coffee farmers. He has also helped, as mentioned, the Rise Against Hunger Coalition, the Peace Corps Scholars, and the Alumni Association, and he has helped secure funding for farm-to-market roads in Lobok, Batangas, under the Philippine Rural Development Program. Next is Eloisa Romarao Tiga, our honoree for agricultural entrepreneurship, who founded the Session Grocery Smartphone app which provides users access to fresh and homegrown produce from the convenience of their homes. Through her efforts, not only has she provided consumers with better food choices, she has also created a new income stream for upland farmers who no longer need to work with middlemen for their produce to reach customers. Currently, she is working to get more Filipino-grown produce, particularly baggage strawberries, to markets abroad as far as Dubai, the Middle East. Next, Your Honor, Mr. President, Your Honors, is our multi-awarded artist, educator, independent curator, and cultural advocate, Elazar Abraham or Abe Orobia, the honoree for education and culture. In 2018, he worked as the head facilitator of art workshops for indigenous people, elementary teachers from different parts of the Philippines. He also created a bas relief mural of the Basi Revolt in the municipality of San Ildefonso, Ilocos Sur. In 2017, he was one of the five artists worked on a mural reinterpretation of the famous Bahay Nakfil Bautista. Proceeds from the sale of these murals were donated for the reconstruction and preservation of the said historical site. The fourth TOYM honoree is Anna Oposa, recognized for her contributions to the environment and marine conservation. She is the executive director and chief mermaid of Save Philippine Seas, having been at the forefront of projects and campaigns in shark conservation, waste management, 
and environmental education. Her work has contributed to raising the profile of marine conservation in mainstream and social media, national and local legislation, and empowering youth and communities to take action on environmental issues. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, she's the daughter of Attorney Tony Oposa, who is also uh, a former TOIL uh, award. Famous to uh, law graduates for the seminal of Posa versus Macmore case. Uh, next is TOIM honoree for PhD education and sociology is Dr. Jail S. Cornell. He is currently Associate Professor of Development Studies and Associate Dean of Research and Creative Work at the Ateneo de Manila University. He is a leading sociologist of religion in the Philippines and he is widely known for his brave and extensive research on youth, politics, and religious life. He is best known for his wide-ranging scholarship, which covers topics such as Christianity and the war on drugs, fundamentalism and the struggle for gender equality, and young people in post-conflict. For science and technology, the TOIM honoree is Maria Isabel Angel Palma. She invented a more eco-friendly form of air conditioning, which has no need for ozone-depleting refrigerants, and founded air disc cooling technologies, which has since garnered interest from investors from around the world. Her work has garnered awards from top-notch international inventors for petitions and was endorsed by the International Federation of Inventors Associations as a timely response to global work. Our TOIM awardee for medicine cardiology is Dr. Jaime Alfonso Ajerera, who is a multi-awarded board top-notch cardiologist, cardiologist epidemiologist, academician, and health advocate who has been using his knowledge to educate the community specifically about the early recognition of cardiac diseases, one of the top killers of our country at the present. His research on heart diseases paved the way for improvement in the earlier heart attack pathways of the UB Philippine General Hospital. Incidentally, a beneficiary of your wonderful singing, Mr. President. His brainchild, the IM Platinum Textbook Series for Internal Medicine, has now reached and helped thousands of medical students and young specialists nationwide. The TOYM honoree for education at the academy is Lu Sabrina Monquico. She is a multi-awarded public school teacher of Culiat Elementary School and has been working with different partner organizations to create programs and activities that help students, teachers, parents, and the community, particularly during the pandemic. These include the COVID-19 Comics for Children, two radio programs to reach students and teachers, and piloting Facebook Messenger classes with AHA Learning Center. Teacher Saab is also an advocate for quality STEM education and was instrumental in setting up the Center for Integration STEM, or SYSTEM for short, with the Unilab Foundation and the UP College of Education. Mr. President for Digital Journalism, TOYM on Manorie, is J. Mark Tordesilla. He is currently head of Digital Media, GMA News, and Public Affairs. He spearheaded the development and launch of the Cover Stories platform for GMA News Online, which has published long-form multimedia stories that have garnered numerous awards. He oversees the network's digital video lab, which he conceptualized and has since launched a portfolio of online programs, including the Howie Sabrina podcast, the Mangalas interviews, Stand for Truth, and Deep Dive. And last but not least, Mr. President, is our science and medicine TOYM honoree, Dr. Melvin J. Sanikas. He is a world-renowned Filipino physician scientist who organized and launched in 2014 the Collaboration for Tuberculosis Vaccine Discovery, or CEVD, an international network of over 80 institutions dedicated to fostering collaboration in tuberculosis vaccine discovery. With his expertise in vaccinology, mobile health, health information technology, and digital communications, Dr. Sanikas is the only Filipino digital health expert for the World Health Organization health data expert for Facebook, and digital strategy advisor of the Infectious Disease Society of America. He's also on social media, and I follow him on Twitter. Each of this year's honorees deserve praise because in their respective areas of expertise, they have exuded nothing less than the utmost in excellence, even in their youth. Theirs are among the many reminders that there is no age requirement to achieving great things. Hopefully through their example, they may bring hope especially amid the ongoing pandemic and crisis, and inspire others to follow in their footsteps. And for our part in the Senate, Mr. President, we will continue to shine a light on young individuals such as our honorees. Not only is this August Chamber responsible for crafting legislation 
It is also called upon to help uplift and inspire the spirits of our country. Congratulations to the 2021 DOYM Honors. Thank you, Mr. President, dear colleagues. Thank you, Mr. President.